Hi, it's Monica here from The Travel Hack and today I want to talk about packing for Dubai and what women in particular should pack. So I visited Dubai for the first time this year and I found it quite a hard country to pack for because I found so much um, conflicting advice out there. Some people saying, oh, just pack whatever you want, you can wear whatever you want in Dubai. And other people saying, well, actually, no, it is quite conservative and you do need to watch what you're wearing and you can't be too revealing and you do need to cover up a bit more. Um, in reality, I found it to be somewhere in the middle. You can't just wear whatever you want, wherever you want. But at the same time, you don't need to be covered head to toe. Um, and it really does depend as well where you are and what you're doing. So obviously the first thing that you're gonna need is travel insurance. Um, I am an Admiral Travel Insurance Ambassador because I just feel like it's so important and it's quite often something people forget. So I print out my travel insurance and I pop it in my suitcase. Um, so I just got all those documents there ready and easy to find. So this is actually really perfect for Dubai. It's a kind of collot play suit and I love this, it's from Topshop. Um, but obviously there might be some places where you might not feel comfortable having your shoulders out, your chest out, depends on your body shape, this might be your cleavage out as well. So all you need to do is take a plain white t-shirt and just pop it on underneath. So you don't need to go out and buy loads of things, loads of new things where you're going to be all covered up. Just pop a t-shirt underneath anything that's a bit strappy or a bit revealing or a bit too low cut. This here is another great thing if you have anything like this i actually find that my mum has quite a few things like this so if your mum has anything um this is really handy just now um when you're around the swimming pools and things if you're in a hotel or at a water park or anything like that you don't you can wear whatever you want really you can wear a bikini if you want to i usually wore this swimsuit which i loved um but you can wear a bikini I wouldn't go for a super skimpy bikini. Don't go for like a thong bottoms or like really, really low cut bikini. Um, but a normal kind of full coverage bikini is absolutely fine. Now this here um, is my absolute favorite dress for traveling. This dress is just a normal, simple slip dress from Topshop. Um, and I actually have it in every single colour they did and every pattern they did. It was about two summers ago they had it, but loads of shops have something similar. And I just find this is a brilliant dress for travelling wherever you're going. Again, it is a bit strappy, so you might feel like you need to put a t-shirt on underneath it, which is fine. Um, and it's just great because it doesn't crease when it's um, folded in your suitcase and it's just dead easy. It's quite long, it's almost to the knee. So um, it's suitable for most situations. So one thing I did find a little bit difficult in Dubai was wearing shorts. Um, so I don't very often wear long shorts because I've got really short legs and long shorts just look ridiculous on me. So the best option is to wear a midi skirt. Um, so I've got loads of kind of midi skirts like this, which are just perfect. You're gonna be nice and cool. You're still gonna look stylish um, and you're still gonna be covering to the knee. So um, if you haven't got some already, I would get a couple of midi skirts for Dubai because they are perfect. It's also worth taking a scarf with you in case you re you visit anywhere religious or anywhere where you need to be properly covered or just sort of as a just in case um, and you can just like drape it over your shoulders or if you need to cover your head or something. I hope you have a great time in Dubai. There's going to be more tips on my blog, The Travel Hack, if you need any more advice or information. Um, but if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.